All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side. Uh, you know, from time to time, Muslims they post for us comments, and the comments is to insult. But you know, the comments to insult uh, look like the Muslims they believe in it too, not only just trying to insult us. And today I choose just to answer the Abduls who always say to us things which is not true. As an insult, but I am not answering them to insult them. I am here to state facts. Here, his guy, his name is his name always Ahmed. Uh, Christian, etc., is lacking uh, life. Go eat some flesh and drink some blood, you stupid Christians. John 6 50. You know, all of us we know that uh, Jesus in the Bible he says when he was drinking uh, the juice of the grave and he said, Do this, and he broke the bread. He said, drink this and do this to remember me. It was a bread and it was a juice. And the verses in the in the Bible in the front of us, anyone can go right now and can read it. So there's nothing to do with eating blood, drinking blood, or eating flesh of a human being. So this is a big fat lie. You Muslims keep repeat with no shame. But I am used to you, nothing new in Islam. Islam is based on lying about others. So if you can show me where in the Bible it says that we can really eat blood, I challenge you to show me where it is. This is was nothing but a bread and juice. And you are a filthy person, whoever you are, who said that. For you know that this is not true. Secondly, you keep repeating it when you are the one in Islam who practiced such a thing. And we are going to prove it with reference, not like you taking something about remembering Jesus have nothing to do with drinking blood, have nothing to do with eating Jesus. Jesus is not here to eat him, you idiot. Can we eat Jesus? Let us say you're assuming that this is what it's meant. Okay, what is Jesus to eat him? You are an idiot like your prophet. But in fact, this is the practice of Islam, to drink blood of Muhammad and to eat a human being. And I'm going to show you a reference one by one. So I want people to take reference. And in the same time, we don't want to we don't want to go down to the level of the Muslims when they insult. We are going here to, to speak in an academic way. Proving reference, proving proving what we say. The verses in the Bible nowhere state such a thing. Another Muslim he will say to you, Do you know that there is in the Bible in the Old Testament a woman she said to other women, You eat my son, I eat your son. They are saying the, the woman she went to the king and she said to him, We are hungry. There are the army surrounding us and we are dying. What we will do? But nobody ate anyone. That is a lie. And there is nowhere, and even if this is the say, it says, it says as you as you think, this is what the women she said, not God said. Let us see now what Muhammad said about people drinking his blood. When a woman she tried to kill Muhammad by poison. This page here is full of reference. Some of it, Muslim, they say it's a weak hadith, and some of it, it's a strong hadith. But who care? The conclusion is at the end. That this is a correct hadith, which where Muhammad he said to the man who he drank his blood after women she tried to, to poison him. The Muslims they cut the, the, the throat of Muhammad and they made the blood come out of his throat so he would not die because this is where he drank the poison in order to save him. So they gave the blood the blood to a Muslim, and the Muslim he drank it. Read with me carefully. The messenger of Allah, peace blessed upon him, was treated with cooping by slave belonged to one of Quraysh. When he had finished the cooping or the cupping, he took the blood and uh, and took it uh, uh, behind a wall. Then he looked at uh, to his right and his left, and when he did not see anyone, he drank the blood until it was all gone. He what? He drank the blood until all it's, what was gone. Then he came back, the prophet, peace be a blessing upon him. Look at his face and said, who, you, what did you do with the blood? I said, I hide it behind the wall. He said, where did you hide it? I said, oh, messenger of Allah, your blood is too precious to spill on the ground. It is in my stomach. He said, go, you, 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 for you have saved yourself from fire. Do you see it, Abdul? You're a prophet, not only 
happy that somebody drinking his blood he claimed that because this man he drank his blood he is saved from hellfire this is in Islam this is not in the Christianity so why you lie you Muslims you say in a Christianity we teach that we can drink the blood of a human being when you're a prophet is a blessing the person who drank his blood and he claim if you drink the blood of Muhammad you are saved from the hell fire read carefully with me what you did what did you do with the blood I said I hide it behind the wall he said where did you hide it I said, oh, messenger of Allah, your blood is too precious to spill in the ground. It is in my stomach. He said, which means Muhammad, go, for you have saved yourself from the fire. The Muslim, they will say to you, this hadith is fabricated. But right away after that, they will say this hadith is correct, which means what they are talking about fabricated, they say, some of the details is not accurate and some of the names are not correct but the story is correct if you read the whole page you will see how they confirm that this is the true story abu naim narrated etc 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 okay i have a drunk i have a drunkard the messenger of allah he said where is the blood when i had finished i drank it i said oh messenger of allah I have a drunk it. He said, Who oh, you to you, uh, oh, Salim? Did you know that the blood is haram? Do not do it again. This is another hadith. And look how many hadith. All of them, all of them reporting obviously the same story, but each one of them different from the, from the other story. Anyway, they are reporting for you all the hadith which is sahih and all the hadith which is wrong about this story. But if you go to the end of the page, you will see that the Muslims saying at the end that, however, drinking blood in Islam is haram. But because it is the blood of the Prophet, it is a different story. So they are agreeing the story is true. None of the Muslims, even if the hadith is da'if, they are saying that the story at the end is true, which means some stories, the details is not totally accurate. Some stories are proven to be accurate. And at the end of the day, yes, somebody drank the blood of the prophet and the prophet, he blessed his belly for drinking his blood. So who is the one who drink blood? Read carefully with me. Here they are showing you that there is another proof for this hadith. Read carefully with me. The same hadith we are reading. Huh? Look what they are saying to you. This hadith may be accepted. Al Hafiz ibn Hajar said, uh, etc. This is the reference. It's etc. in this reference, etc. in this reference. It says, I do not know of anything wrong with. Uh, Hunayd ibn al Qasim as narrator, so he is a good guy. Uh, this, this is another isnad, which means this is another proof of the hadith, which is narrated by this guy, volume number one, uh, page number two, two, eight. From, 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 blah, 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 okay, okay, and then blah, 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 blah. and then that, that she told the story of Abd Abdullah ibn Zubayr, her son, drinking the blood of the Prophet, peace be upon him. In the front of etc and the prophet peace upon him he said the fire will never touch him this is a correct hadith as you see they are showing you many snad for it many many proof of it many narration for it it is a true correct hadith and now so they are quoting for you what is supposedly weak and what's supposedly strong but all of them they agree that people they drunk the, the the blood of the prophet and the prophet he blessed the stomach and the belly of the person who did drink it in the same time this is allowed even in the quran if we go this is the book of jamu ahkam al quran tafsir al qurtubi read with me abdul this is not christian prince speaking this is a jamu al ahkam al quran variant number two Variant what? 
focus with me abdul volume what volume number two which page we are reading from read with me carefully oh look like here they have no pages in this uh, uh printing it says here وقال الشافعي وقال الشافعي let me let me highlight things for you so you can read with me for those who speak Arabic and I change in a Muslim to say I'm lying it's a challenge وقال الشافعي يؤكل لحم ابن آدم the human the son of an Adam flesh can be eaten ولا يجوز له أن يقتل يقتل ذميا لأنه محترم الدم it's not allowed to kill somebody he is from the people of the Dumma because this is his blood is protected and not for a Muslim and not for a prisoner because this is the money of somebody else so if you have a prisoner a slave you cannot kill a prisoner a slave because this is the money of somebody because Muslims they own people and they say if he was a person in war which means he is fighting you like a soldier or he is an adulterer uh, uh, who who was married it is allowed to kill him and to eat him. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? This is this is your Imam Al Qurtubi. This is not the book of the Christians. Why you I can show you tons of reference. I can spend the whole day showing you a reference about killing people and eating them alive. Actually, there's a video in YouTube where a, a, a Muslim terrorist he cut he killed a Syrian soldier and he cut his his uh, his heart out on the front of the camera and he ate his heart. He is doing this. Here we go. This is a Shafi. Who is a Shafi? The Muslim Sunni sect is four sect. One of them is a Shafi'i, one of the biggest sect in Islam. Don't tell me a Shafi'i do not know what he's talking about. So when a Muslim speak about eating the flesh of a human being and saying that Jesus taught us to eat the flesh, you are a big fat liar and this is what your religion teach. This is not our religion. There's a video in YouTube, and actually it is translated into English. Where the Muslim... The Muslim Sheikh. They are reading for you what they are teaching in Al-Azhar University. In Al-Azhar University. And they are questioning this in the Egyptian TV. This is live, live on TV, Egyptian Islamic TV. And they are saying, this, this guy is, is asking, how we can teach you, are asking about terrorism, how you can ask about this, if in our book it's saying that if somebody leave Islam, we can eat him. If somebody is a Christian or somebody he was an apostate, we can kill him and eat him and we can cook him. والله يا سيدي الحويني ما جاب حاجة من عنده يعني هذا الكلام بيتدرس للعيال اللي في الأزهر بس الكلام ده ما يبقى زمان عند نشر الإسلام هو ده اللي بيدرسوا للعيال ده نشر الإسلام ما هو لما look look even the secular Muslim he's saying well this is yes true when Islam was spread we used to do that not now so even the secular Muslims they know that Muhammad is a thief is a gang he is a murderer and he is a scumbag let me play it again so you can see he said to him yes well this was true but in the time of the uh, the prophet when we spread Islam by the sword but not today you see the hypocrisy what do you mean not today what is the difference between yesterday and today is Islam is Islam or no and the Azhar University which is the highest university in the Islamic world is teaching Islam the way the prophet he did do you have a new Islam? No. Listen, you see, it says. However, isn't it? This is his uh, the, uh, from old time during the spread of Islam. He's talking about taking slaves, kidnapping people, killing them, chopping their head. He's saying this is during the spread of Islam time. Muslim, they say to you that Islam was not spread by sword. You see, 
when they speak in Arabic is different from the way they try to present Islam to you when they speak in English. See, see what he heard? What, did you hear what? Anyway, the video, you can find it in the, what is called this, uh, they translate the videos in English. So there in, the, in their book, they are saying, you can eat a human being, you can kill a human being, and you can eat him. So this is documented in your religion. As an example, not necessarily for one person, what about Khalid ibn Walid? Khalid ibn Walid, he killed a man and he cooked him and he raped his wife and the man was a Muslim and this is the cousin of Muhammad. And I challenge any Muslim to say that Khalid ibn Walid was a bad Muslim. This man, if you go to the to the book of Kanzur Ummal, actually let me see if I can find you the reference. All right, let us see. It's amazing how they fabricate what is in their cult and they put it in our belief. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> it is what in, in their religion, but yet they make it in our belief. All of this just because Jesus, he broke a bread and he said, this is my body is broken for you. And he drank a, a, a drink, a juice. And he said, this is my blood is sacrificed for you. That will make us people who eat a human. But they are eating a human literally. Drinking the blood of the prophet of Islam literally will not make them what they say. It is amazing how they lie, isn't it? Anyway, and I'm not going to make it long, but maybe we can make a, a you know, a, a, we can make a special session about this thing. So we can because we can have we can give hundreds of reference. Not only this. I mean, this is this is a, there's endless reference about the crimes and and the killing and eating blood and and sacrificing a human. Because you see, even when a Muslim. He kill an infidel to do what? He kill an infidel to make Allah happy. That is that is a human being sacrificing. This is what the Muslims do. Why he want to kill the infidel? Because Allah he told him to kill the infidel. What is that will do to Allah? Because Allah get happy. Human being in Islam, not only they eat a human, as we see, they say to you, it's haram to drink blood in Islam. First of all, the Islam allowed you to eat anything. And this is a lie when they say there's halal and haram in Islam. It's a big fat lie. Look what the Quran said. Even uh, even pork in Islam you can eat. The same verse where it says you cannot eat this and this and this. And this is the verse in the front of us. Chapter 5 verse number 3 is the same verse you say to you. If you are hungry, you can eat all. The dead one, the living one, the pig, anything. Chapter 5, verse number 3, in the front of your eyes. But if you are, if any is forced by hunger, huh? there is no transgression. Eat whatever you want. Allah is all merciful. Eat what? 
eat the dead one, eat the living one. Read all those are forbidden here in the list. If you are in hunger, you eat it all. But as you see, the Muslims are not drinking the blood of Muhammad because they were hungry, but because they think his blood is a special. And Muhammad is promising his followers to go to heaven because they drank his blood. Khadr al-Walid did not kill the man and he cooked him because he was hungry. This is a guy who is a leader of an army. He have thousands and thousands of slaves and money with gold like silver all over. When when a jami'u li ahkam al-Qur'an, the interpretation of Al-Qurtubi and Al-Shafi'i and other, and there is many tons of scholars, they say that you can kill an infidel and you can eat him. That is not out of Islam. This is part of Islam. That is Islam, my friend. And by the way, this is the tafsir for chapter 16, verse number one, 115, in tafsir al-Qurtubi. Same you can find in Sirat Ibn Hisham. In Sirat Ibn Hisham, you know, it says, the book of the Sirah, it says that, you know, that if, if you, you know, you can eat the, the flesh of a human being if he is in war with you or he is an adulterer who, who was married, it's okay to kill him and to eat from him or to eat him. That is Islam. In the in the in the book of Al Azhar University, where they are teaching for the third grade high school, uh, I forgot the name of the book. It said uh, page number two five six, as I remember. It says here, it says there clearly that it is okay to eat the flesh of a human being who is a person who don't pray no more and the apostate, and to kill him. And to eat him, but with one condition, without cooking him. I mean, look how, look how, how, look how uh, the condition. You can eat somebody is not praying no more or apostate. You can you can kill him and eat him, but be careful, don't cook him. I don't know what is the what is behind not to cook him. Is that sushi? Is that sushi, Muslims? It is unbelievable how they fabricate things and they make what they believe in on us. Actually, even a Shafi'i, he said that you can eat the flesh of a, of a prophet, which means you can eat the flesh of your prophet. Have you ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> anyway, I don't want to stay long. I just wanted to answer this. Abdul, please download the video. Uh, just to let you know, my videos will not stay in my page for long, please. So everybody who, who care to download them, download them immediately. In the coming 48 hours, I'm going to filter many of my videos and they will disappear. They will be only in Patreon for those who subscribe. They will be enlisted. So if you like, if you care, don't ask me later where they are gone. Download it, have it, save it, share it, so you don't ask me later where it is. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is how we refute the Muslims. We Christian, we don't drink the blood of anyone, and we are not people who are zombie. The one who teach that you can kill a human being and eat his flesh, that is a zombie. And that is the teaching of Islam, as you see. I'm showing it to you in the front of your eyes. This is the teaching of your prophet. This is the teaching of your Quran. This is the teaching of your scholars. And this is what you must then practice in a practice. And this is what you teach even today in the year 2018, as I showed you in the video. Download, please, and share with everybody. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you all. And I will see you tomorrow. Christian Prince, love you all. And Abdul. Be a man and call me tomorrow. I'm waiting. Thank you.